I often get asked the question by beginner anglers, what kind of sliding trace must I use for what conditions? Now there's lots of different traces out there. I'm a bit of a lazy angler, so I try and make things easy for myself. And I've just got three basic sliding traces that I use. And generally all three work for me. So I'm going to go through these traces, explain them to you, and then hopefully that'll help you to make up your mind as to which trace you want to fish with. The first one I want to discuss is just a normal old school double J hook trace. This is most probably the one you're going to use most of the times. It works the best. And for me, it's the most efficient way of building a slide trace. This trace basically consists of your normal 150 or 200 pound nylon coated with your slide at the end here. And then you got two J hooks. And this specific trace got the one hook facing that way, another hook facing this direction. Now the application I would use this trace for is generally for my dead baits. If I'm sliding a dead mackerel, dead bonnie or dead shad, anything like that. And why I like this specific trace is because you can put your front hook through the lips of, the, of your bait fish or whatever you're going to slide. And this bottom hook sits at the bottom between the two little pectoral fins. You place that hook there. So you've got a nice bait presentation. And when that shark or whatever you're going to target grabs your bait, one of these two hooks will catch him. And your, sit, your hook set in general will be good. My next sliding trace I'm going to show you guys is my live bait trace. The difference with this trace and the other one is that both my hooks are facing the same direction. And over the years I've found that with this specific trace, my strike rate is much, much better on catching fish with live bait. So the way this trace works, basic setup, you've got your nylon coated steel with your slide here. Make it as long as it's comfortable with you, one meter, one and a half meter. The main difference is the way your hooks sit both hooks facing up and how I rig my live bait with this the back hook here just through the top lip of my live bait and then the front hook goes on the back of the live bait's head so it's facing up and what I think happens is generally your game fish that attack your live bait come from the top and they'll grab that live bait from the top over the years I found when I put this hook at the bottom like the conventional way often I get the bite but miss the fish and for some reason, this live bait trace just works much better. And I think it's because, as I said, the predator comes from the top, grabs it from the top, and you get your hook set nicely, and you don't miss that many fish. So the third and final slide trace that I'll carry in my box is just a normal single circle hook trace. You've got your slide attached to the end, and then, as I said, 120 to 150 pound nylon coated, whatever suits you. Now what I like to use this trace for is when I'm doing a sliding a soft bait. So what I mean by soft bait, you've got a whole bunch of cutlets put together in a round rugby ball size bait and you just want to put one single circle hook on it and that's what I use this trace for. So I'll have my dingle dangle with a bait build around it, the hook sits nice and proud above that little round piece of soft bait or whatever you want to call it and that's what I use this specific trace for. It works very well, especially for your smaller baits soft baits and your hook set in general will be very good with this. You always find that if you hook a fish with a circle hook, the hook sits nice in the corner of the fish's mouth, take hook out and you don't damage a fish that much.